Welcome back to the channel. My name's Julie and this is my husband, Justin, and we are full-time resellers and we're camping, but we want to show you what we sold over Labor Day weekend because we had some amazing sales and we are super excited to share them. We've been going to the bins a lot more lately and do you feel like that has helped our sales greatly? Yeah, I feel like we've picked up some better stuff. So, yeah. yeah. We've been doing 99 cent day, which gets us a lot of bread and butter items, but lately it's been a little lackluster. So we've been hitting the bins every Tuesday and Thursday. And let's dive in and show you some of the stuff we've sold. We'll talk about the first clothing piece that sold. It was this Talbots, um, it was a wool blend, like blazer kind of suit jacket. Um, I got it on 99 cent day and it sold for $26.24 definitely selling wintry items like crazy um golf shirts we picked up a whole grouping of grayson which is a major bolo brand of golf shirts at the bins just on wednesday no thursday i listed them um on friday and on saturday they started selling really well so one guy bought this polo shirt for 28 then he also bought um, this long sleeve shirt and it was their burr line. So kind of like the, you know, to keep you warm, um, more like a performance shirt. And then another polo shirt and that was $70 and 98 cents. So he spent almost a hundred dollars on three pieces of Grayson clothing. So that was awesome. It's an absolutely gorgeous day at camp. Like there isn't a cloud in the sky. It's so pretty. All right, so we sold this Alex Evenings. It was like a two-piece dress with jacket, like very mother of the bride. I got it on 99 cent day and it sold for $42.49. Um, another 99 cent day item, this land, I was gonna say land of lakes, that's a cheese. This land's end um, sweater, it was a cable knit, like open front sweater sold for $18.69. Express Portofino shirt I showed in a previous video. It had black birds on it. It was sheer. Um, we paid 44 cents for it at the bins. It was so lightweight and it sold for $18.69. So the next item is these amazing RGT, they were called Rogue Territory Jeans. Why did you grab these jeans, Justin, from the bins? They just looked interesting to me and they were, I don't know, I just stiff. hadn't seen them before. Yeah, yeah they were, they were like, they felt like they could have stood on their own. To find out they're made in the USA and they're like, um, what is it called? Selvage denim. Uh. Um and I, we paid three forty seven dollars because they were really heavy and they sold super fast for $71. And then another pair of jeans that sold, this was just a cheapy pair from 99 cents. There were these Levi's 525 boot cut jeans. They sold on an offer for $16.99. This White House Black Market, I showed this, was it two videos ago? It was the um, tank top with the corset oh, yeah. lines new on it. We got it, yeah, new with tags. We paid only 50 cents at the bins and we sold it for $20. And then this torrid, um, it was just like a soft t-shirt. It was picked up on 99 cent day and it sold for $12.74. All right, so I sold this jacket, Napa. I have no earthly idea how to say the name. You'll see it on the screen right there. Um, it was like a pink tropical floral print. It was reversible. We paid $1.27 at the bins and it sold for $35. And then I sold this cabbie. It was like a sheer blouse. I normally like the brand cabbie, so I didn't look it up, which was a big error because there was probably at least 50 of this exact same shirt listed. So I listed mine low for $16.99. Someone sent me a $14 offer and I grabbed it. We paid 99 cents for it. All right, so we're back home. It's now Tuesday um, of the holiday weekend, so we're getting ready to ship. So I wanted to show you like the hard good items that sold um, 
over this weekend. So the first one is this gorgeous beauty. It is a Magnolite um, Sydney Ware Roaster. It's a smaller one. What is it? It's like a 40, 42, 65, I think. Um, Justin picked it up at a garage sale for $20 and it sold for $100. And then it was funny because I was like, is it, there's a Magnolite theme going on. We grabbed this one. It's just a little um, Dutch oven Magnolite um, 4248. This one is, we grabbed this at the bins. We paid $7.48 with tax for it. And it sold for $45.99. Let's see what else we have. Uh, this was just a little like watch heart monitor. I got it free from my neighbor, sold for $13.49. Sold another Bowflex piece. It's this cord, what's it? Oh, cable, power cable. I don't know what it is. It sold for $21. Um, this American Girl doll sold. So I've had her listed for quite a while. She has some issues. It might not show up in camera, but her hair is kind of dyed blue and pink like it just has a little bit of a hue to it um but i had her in a completely different outfit and she just was not selling and then justin found this dress and shoes that are real american girl clothes at the bin so i changed her outfit relisted her and she sold for 39.99 so that was cool um we have a ti 84 plus calculator this was just grabbed at the bins it sold within minutes of me listing it for 36.99 and we paid 119 for it oh yeah i didn't say how much for the doll the doll i paid three dollars for by weight for her clothes and outfit i mean her and her outfit at the bins i also sold a vintage barbie set i'll put the picture up here on the screen it's going international i think it's going to canada and it sold for 26.99 we actually had three international sales um over the holiday weekend all right, here's Justin to tell us what weights sold. So just three little weight sales this weekend. There are four of these two and a half pound pancake style plates. They sold for $15.99. And then four more sold for also $15.99. And these are actually being shipped international. And four of these fitness gear, five pound Olympic plates. I took an offer of $22 on these ones. And I'm so happy to report that our Poshmark closet was resurrected from the dead over the weekend. So we have a bunch of sales. I sold these Crocs. Um, I got three pairs of Crocs, all new at the bins. Um, this certain style, what is it called? The Patricia. That pair sold for 34. Then I have this pair here. It actually still has the tags attached to it. That one sold for 29. I also had a black pair, but I sold that one last week for 35, I do believe. Then I have some clothing. I'll put the picture right there. A Land's End tunic, like blouse, sold for 15. I had a two-piece bundle of a Chaps dress and a Kelvin Klein sweater. I had only paid $1.25 for the two of them together, and that sold for 33. Um, oh yeah, the Crocs, let me tell you, I paid $1.15 for the Crocs each, and the tunic shirt was $0.99. Cents. And then my last Poshmark item was, um, I showed it in a video, it's a long, tall Sally. I had two of them in two different sizes, like very pretty peasant white tunic top, and um, I paid $0.99 cents for them. Wait, no, I didn't. I got them at the bins. Oh no, I did. I paid $0.99. Cents. That's right, I got them at St. Vincent de Paul. All right. Paid 99 cents, sold for 25. And I think I have a few clothing items from eBay that sold that I didn't go over yet that I'll put on the screen. These loft um, skinny corduroy pants were purchased on 99 cent day. Someone sent me a $15 offer and I just went with it. Um, what's J. Jill. We sold these J. Jill wear over collection pull on pants. Got on 99 cent day, sold for $15.99. These apartment nine boot cut jeans, they were new with tags. I bought them at the bins. They were heavy, so I paid $2.20 for them, but they sold for $20. This Banana Republic, it was like a satin maxi dress. It did have some flaws on it, so I listed it on the lower side. Um, I purchased it at the bins for $1.48, and it sold for $24.99. And this right here is a new-to-me brand, Addison Bay. I had never heard of it before. It was giving off, like, 
Lululemon dupe vibes. Like it was very similar material, even style. Um, and I picked it out of a bin where I got some other like more name brand, like higher end items. So I decided to look it up and uh, I paid $2 for it by weight at the bins and it sold for $39.99 and it sold relatively quickly. Um, this Tim Burton Corpse Bride t-shirt, um, it was purchased at the bins ages ago. I only paid 74 cents for it and it sold for $14 and 44 cents. Um, this Lauren, Ralph Lauren, um, it was like a button down, um, denim shirt, but it had like the crest on it. Justin purchased it for full price. He had stopped into, um, the regular Goodwill, I think to make a donation and just popped in to see if there was anything. So he paid $6 and 19 cents for it, but it sold on an offer for $35. So still making a decent profit on it. And then this toddler Alabama crimson, um, like two piece set, we've had it forever. Justin purchased it at a garage sale for only 50 cents. It sold for $24 and 99 cents. And this Liz Claiborne, um, top was purchased on 99 cent day. It sold for $16.99. And this spirit Jersey, we actually won it on like a free giveaway on whatnot, um, I tried to wear it, but it was too big on me. Um, Brooke had it in her closet for a while, and then she decided she didn't really want it either. So I ended up listing it, and it sold for $17.99, and obviously I had nothing into it, so that was cool. All right, so I got all the orders packaged up for the day, and I ran the numbers, and our profits for our Labor Day long weekend were $775.49, which isn't too bad. I did have a disappointing um, cancellation. Um, when we were away yesterday, a sale came through for a hundred and I think it was $60 for Christmas dishes. And then overnight they asked to cancel the order. And though you have the right to decline cancellations and now eBay saying that they won't, um, they'll remove any negative feedbacks if you decide to can't deny it. But I'm like, that doesn't stop the person from being ticked off and filing like a false INAD, you know, saying it wasn't as described or breaking some of the dishes, you know, because they were ticked that I didn't cancel. So I was not risking that, especially because it was costing $60 to ship it because it was going from Pennsylvania to Washington state. So I just canceled it, but you know, bummer because our total would have been more like 900 if that wouldn't have been canceled, but they'll eventually sell. That's the way it goes. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in. Um, if you are new here, I would so appreciate if you would sub to the channel. We are a couple subs away from hitting 4,000. It's been a long and slow journey up to getting, you know, more subs. And if you like the video, of course, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, thoughts, please leave them below and we'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.